What if I told you that deep beneath the rolling hills of Kentucky, in what's now the world's longest cave system, scientists have made a discovery so mind-blowing it's rewriting our understanding of ancient Earth. Picture this. 325 million-year-old shark fossils, perfectly preserved in total darkness, waiting millions of years to tell their story. These aren't just any sharks. We're talking about prehistoric predators that ruled the oceans when North America was a completely different world. Stay with me, because what we're about to uncover will change everything you thought you knew about our planet's history. Welcome back to our channel, where we uncover history's greatest mysteries and bring ancient worlds back to life. Today, we're diving deep, literally, into one of the most astonishing paleontological discoveries of the 21st century. The year is 2023, and researchers in Mammoth Cave, Kentucky, have just made headlines worldwide with a find that has scientists buzzing with excitement. But here's what makes this discovery so special. We're not talking about dinosaur bones or ancient human artifacts. We're talking about sharks. Yes, you heard that right, sharks, found hundreds of feet underground in a cave system that stretches over 675 kilometers. How did they get there? What were they doing in what's now landlocked Kentucky? And what secrets do these ancient predators hold about our planet's past? Today, we'll journey through time, exploring not just the incredible discovery itself, but what it means for our understanding of prehistoric life, evolution, and the dramatic changes our Earth has undergone over hundreds of millions of years. This is more than just a fossil find. It's a window into a lost world. Let's start at the beginning. Mammoth Cave isn't just any cave system. It's the longest known cave system on Earth, with over 675 kilometers of mapped passages. For centuries, people have explored its vast underground chambers, but nobody expected to find what researchers discovered in 2023. The story begins with John Paul Hodnett, a specialist in ancient sharks from the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. Hodnett, along with a team from the National Park Service's paleontology program, was conducting routine surveys in the cave when they noticed something unusual in the limestone walls. At first glance, it looked like just another rock formation, but Hodnett's trained eye spotted something extraordinary, fossilized remains that could only belong to one type of creature, sharks. Now, you might be asking yourself, sharks in Kentucky? That doesn't make any sense. And you'd be right to question it. After all, Kentucky is about as far from the ocean as you can get in North America. But that's precisely what makes this discovery so revolutionary. The team carefully extracted two remarkable specimens, both dating back an astonishing 325 million years. To put that in perspective, these sharks were swimming around when Earth looked completely different, when all the continents were joined together in a supercontinent called Pangaea, and when the first reptiles were just beginning to appear on land. But here's where it gets really interesting. These aren't just any shark fossils. They belong to two previously identified but rarely found species, Troglocladidus trimblay and Glycmanius careforum. These weren't your typical great whites. These were Catenacanth sharks, an ancient group that had some remarkable features we'll explore in just a moment. The discovery process itself was incredibly challenging. Imagine working hundreds of feet underground in tight passages with limited lighting, trying to extract fossils that haven't seen the light of day in over 300 million years. The team had to work with extreme precision using specialized tools to carefully remove the fossils without damaging them. Every movement had to be calculated, every decision critical. What they found was beyond their wildest expectations, not just fragments, but remarkably well-preserved specimens that would help answer questions scientists have been asking for decades about these ancient predators. Now, let's meet our ancient stars. First up, Troglocladotus trimblay. The name alone sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Troglo refers to cave, Cladotus relates to its branched teeth structure, and Trimblay 
honors the cave guide who first noticed something unusual in the cave walls. Troglocladotus was no small fry. We're talking about a predator that reached lengths of 3 to 3.6 meters, that's 10 to 12 feet for those of us still thinking in imperial measurements. To put that in perspective, that's roughly the size of a modern oceanic white-tip shark. Imagine encountering that in the water. But what made Troglocladotus truly special was its dental structure. Unlike modern sharks with their replaceable teeth, catenacanths like Troglocladotus had teeth that were more fixed in place, with multiple cusps or points arranged in a distinctive pattern. These weren't just for show. They were perfectly adapted for grasping and slicing through the armored fish and other marine creatures that shared their ancient world. The second species, Glickmanius careforum, is equally fascinating. This was another large predator, similar in size to Troglocladotus, but with its own unique characteristics. What makes the Glickmanius specimens found in Mammoth Cave particularly special is that researchers discovered a partial jaw set from a young individual. This is incredibly rare because shark skeletons are made of cartilage, not bone, and cartilage rarely fossilizes well. Finding juvenile remains gives scientists unprecedented insight into how these creatures grew and developed. But here's where things get really mind-bending. Both of these shark species lived during what geologists call the Mississippian period, roughly 325 million years ago. At that time, the area we now know as Kentucky wasn't rolling hills and forests. It was a warm, shallow sea teeming with life. The North American continent was positioned much differently, and what's now the heartland of America was actually covered by ocean waters. These sharks weren't cave dwellers, they were open water predators. So how did they end up in Mammoth Cave? The answer lies in the incredible geological processes that have shaped our planet over hundreds of millions of years. The cave itself formed much later, in limestone that was originally deposited at the bottom of that ancient sea. The shark remains were buried in sediment, which over time hardened into limestone. As groundwater carved out the cave system, it exposed these ancient fossils that had been trapped in the rock for millions of years. Think about that for a moment. These sharks died and were buried in an ancient ocean. Over millions of years, their remains became part of the rock that would eventually form the walls of Mammoth Cave. And now, 325 million years later, we're able to study them, learn from them, and piece together their story. It's like nature's ultimate time capsule. So why is this discovery causing such a stir in the scientific community? It's not just because finding shark fossils in a cave is cool, although it definitely is. It's because these findings are helping answer some of the biggest questions in paleontology and evolutionary biology. First, let's talk about what these fossils tell us about shark evolution. Sharks are one of the most successful groups of animals ever to have lived on Earth. They've survived multiple mass extinctions, including the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. But their early evolution has always been somewhat mysterious, precisely because their cartilage skeletons rarely fossilize well. The mammoth cave specimens are changing that. They're providing scientists with unprecedented detail about the anatomy of these ancient sharks. For instance, the Glickmanius jaw remains are showing researchers how the feeding apparatus of these early sharks developed and functioned. This is helping scientists understand the evolutionary pressures that shaped shark feeding strategies over hundreds of millions of years. But it goes beyond just anatomy. These fossils are giving us a window into ancient ecosystems. By studying what these sharks ate, where they lived, and how they interacted with other species, Scientists can reconstruct entire food webs from 325 million years ago. It's like getting a snapshot of life in an ancient ocean. And here's something really fascinating. These discoveries are helping us understand how climate change and continental drift affected marine life. Remember, these sharks lived when Earth's continents were arranged very differently. As Pangaea began to break apart, 
ocean currents changed, sea levels fluctuated, and marine ecosystems had to adapt or die. The story of these sharks is, in many ways, the story of our planet's changing surface. The research team led by Hodnet has been using cutting-edge technology to study these fossils. CT scans, 3D modeling, and isotopic analysis are all being employed to extract every possible piece of information from these remarkable specimens. What they're finding is challenging some long-held assumptions about shark evolution and ancient marine ecosystems. For example, the diversity of shark species in this ancient sea appears to have been much greater than previously thought. The discovery of multiple large predator species living in the same area suggests a complex ecosystem with many different niches. This is forcing scientists to rethink their models of ancient marine food webs. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of this research is what it tells us about the potential for future discoveries. Mammoth Cave is vast. Only a fraction of it has been thoroughly explored for fossils. If researchers found these remarkable specimens in the areas they've already studied, what else might be waiting in the unexplored passages? The cave is essentially a giant freezer, preserving ancient life in incredible detail. Each new expedition could yield another groundbreaking discovery. Now, let's step back and consider what this discovery means for our understanding of Earth's history. These shark fossils aren't just ancient curiosities. They're pieces of a much larger puzzle that scientists have been trying to solve for generations. Think about the timeline we're dealing with here. 325 million years ago is almost unimaginably distant. To put it in perspective, the dinosaurs wouldn't appear for another 100 million years. The first humans wouldn't evolve for another 320 million years. These sharks were ancient, even by dinosaur standards. And yet, here they are, preserved in remarkable detail, telling us stories about a world we can only imagine. The fact that we can find, study, and learn from creatures that lived so long ago is a testament to the incredible detective work of paleontologists and the remarkable preservative power of geological processes. But there's a deeper lesson here too. These sharks lived during a time of massive global change. The Mississippian period saw significant fluctuations in sea levels, dramatic changes in climate, and the gradual assembly of the supercontinent Pangaea. Sound familiar? We're living through our own period of rapid climate change and environmental transformation. By studying how ancient ecosystems responded to past changes, scientists can better predict how modern ecosystems might respond to current and future changes. These ancient sharks aren't just relics of the past, they're potentially helping us understand our future. The discovery also highlights the importance of protecting our natural heritage. Mammoth Cave is a national park, protected and preserved for future generations. Without this protection, these incredible fossils might never have been found, or worse, they could have been damaged or destroyed. It's a reminder of why conservation and scientific research go hand in hand. And think about this. Every time scientists make a discovery like this, it opens up new questions. Each answer leads to more mysteries, more puzzles to solve. That's the beauty of science. It's an endless journey of discovery, with each new finding building on what came before and pointing the way toward future breakthroughs. As we wrap up our journey through time to meet these incredible ancient sharks, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We've seen how 325 million year old predators preserved in the darkness of Mammoth Cave are helping us understand the evolution of life on Earth. We've explored how these remarkable fossils are changing our understanding of ancient ecosystems and the processes that have shaped our planet over hundreds of millions of years. We've met Trogloclodotus Trimblay and Glicmanius Careforum, two magnificent predators that ruled the ancient seas when North America was a very different place. And we've seen how modern science, combining traditional paleontology with cutting-edge technology, is extracting secrets from these ancient remains that have been hidden 
for millions of years. But here's the most exciting part. This story isn't over. Research in Mammoth Cave is ongoing, and scientists believe there are many more discoveries waiting to be made. Each new fossil, each new specimen, adds another piece to the puzzle of Earth's ancient history. If you found this journey through time as fascinating as I did, there are a few things you can do to stay connected with our channel and support our mission of bringing history's greatest mysteries to life. First, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss our latest videos about incredible historical discoveries, ancient civilizations, and the mysteries of our past. Second, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What aspect of this discovery did you find most interesting? Do you have questions about these ancient sharks or the research being done? Let's start a conversation. Your thoughts and questions help make this channel better for everyone. And finally, if you know someone who loves history, science, or amazing discoveries, please share this video with them. Together, we can build a community of curious minds who are passionate about uncovering the secrets of our past. Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey through time. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop being amazed by the incredible history of our planet.